All right, now that we have supply and the marginal cost and variable cost down, let's look at a change in supply versus a change in the quantity supplied. Much like we talked about with demand, movement along the supply curve versus a movement of the supply curve. Those are two different things. So in our model, what we want to find out is how much firms are willing to bring to the market at different prices. So a change in the price of a good is going to be movement along the supply curve, which represents a change in quantity supplied. And we're holding other variables fixed. If any of those variables change, that would be a change in supply. So let's take a look at some of these. Here we have a firm selling five units at five dollars. This would be a change in the quantity supplied. So this would be an increase in the quantity supplied of some good due to the higher price going from five to six dollars. That's movement of the supply curve. Again, we're holding other factors fixed along that supply curve. What if one of those other factors did change though? Let's say the price of something uh, uh, input increased which caused the cost of production to rise. That would be a shift upward of the supply curve. This would be a change in supply which resulted in a higher price for any given quantity. What shifts the supply curve? The first thing we look at is change in resource costs, labor, energy, the factors such as if you're talking furniture, the wood, the lumber, if you're talking uh, automobiles, the steel, the rubber tires, those would be the resource costs. Changes in technology, new technology that allows us to produce more quickly or increases productivity of labor would cause the supply curve to shift outward. Keep in mind there's no change in technology we would use that would increase uh, costs, so there's nothing that would shift the supply curve leftward given the change in technology. It's something that would help us move the, uh, so it would move the supply curve outward in order to help us produce more at any given cost. Increase in the number of producers. The more producers there are, competition will drive production or cost down. Taxes or subsidies. A tax is going to shift the supply curve to the left. Subsidies tend to operate with the demand curve if we look at a consumer subsidy, but a subsidy to a supplier will also act in the opposite direction of a tax along the supply curve. And then the expectation of future price changes. If a gas refinery expects the price of gas to double overnight, they're going to withhold their production of gasoline or their sales of gasoline for that day, and the price will go up. That will shift the supply curve up to the left. So again, let's take a look at this instance here. What happens to the supply of orange juice after a freeze in Florida destroys 25% of the orange crop? And again, we would look at there'd be fewer oranges, and what there we would have would be a higher price. Therefore, that's got to be a shift upward in the supply curve, and for any given quantity, we will have a higher price for orange juice. For another example, again, starting at 5 and 5, what happens to the supply of milk as uh, new technology allows farmers to obtain more milk from each cow during milking? So new technology reads how much a cow produced the last feeding, the last week, the last month, uh, whether there's trouble with the milk coming down, whatever it is, this new technology allows dairy farmers to get more milk out of each cow. That's going to shift the supply curve outward for any given quantity of milk. The price of producing that quantity has now decreased. And so last thing, what happens in the market for higher education as tuition rates increase? Now again, the first two we looked at a change in supply, a decrease in supply, we looked at an increase in supply. This one goes back to our original graph. This is an increase in the price of education, so it's going to be an increase in the quantity supplied of education, not a change in supply. That's the end of this on changes in supply and changes in quantity supplied.